Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Etsy with Xero. First things first, uh, we have to create ourselves an account at Etsy.com or log into our existing account. If you are experienced with Etsy or uh, how it works, you'll soon find out that uh, we can't make this integration straight through Etsy and integrate it with Xero, but uh, we can make this integration work by using third-party app. Uh, third party, uh, by third-party app, I mean automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, once we are in here, uh, we want to go to integrations on the top part of automate.io and uh, on this pop-up window slide down and see all categories. Automate.io is a very useful app for integrations so I believe that you'll be satisfied by the way how this, uh, how this app works. Now we have to pick the first integration which will be Etsy, like this. In Etsy, we will be looking for triggers. On the opposite side, uh, we want to add zero, like this. Straight away, you can see first uh, integrations uh, as popular integrations already pre-made it for us by uh, by automate.io and uh, yeah if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration just remember on the left side underneath the triggers you want to start with etsy so it's either new listing new order order paid or order shipped on the opposite side underneath the actions there is way more options for Xero and also we want to start with Xero here. So let's go with like new order as a trigger. We'll uh, mm -mm, let's say add a payment in Xero or update an invoice in Xero. So this is a trigger, this is an action. The last thing that we have to do, we have to click on try it now button and we'll get redirected uh, to automate.eo login or register site and we are basically a few clicks away from finishing these integrations. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.